going on everybody? How you doing today? So we have a new robot vacuum from the brand TCL. If you're unfamiliar with them, they've been making TVs and speakers and phones and even some headsets for quite a while now. So they decided to step into the robot vacuum and see how they do with it with this Suiva 2000. So as the name suggests, this has a maximum power suction of 2000 PA. It does have carpet boost built in, so it'll sense that it has carpet and ramp it up to that maximum suction. This is a random navigation robot. It will come with magnetic strips. So you can block it off to certain rooms or doorways that you don't want it to go through. And let me go ahead and unbox this and I'll show you everything you get in the box. All right, so here's everything that comes in the box. You got the manual, remote control. Of course, you get the power cable, the base station that the robot will charge on and drive back to when it's you get a total of four side brushes. This does use two at a time, so it does have a replacement one. As you can see on the right there, you do get a replacement filter, and then two rolls of the magnetic tape, as well as some 3M tape to help hold down that magnetic tape. All right, here's the size of the Derpin, one of the larger ones. I believe it's 600 milliliters, so it'll hold quite a bit of debris. There is the air filter, very easy to pop on and off. Here is the bottom of the robot vacuum. These simply pop right on, the side brushes. Here is the model number and some of the information for you. And then I'll give you my overall opinion about this new robot from TCL. I've tested quite a few of these random navigation robots, so I will be comparing them to those. And I will let you know when this is fully charged and I'll show you the debris it needs to clean up. And I'll try to get a little bit of recording of it actually driving around and then we will talk about it when it's all done. If you're new to this channel, please do me a favor, like the video and subscribe. It really does help me a lot and I would really appreciate it. Alrighty, got the TCL Random Navigation Robot Vacuum charged up and ready to go. This does have an app, which is very easy to use. Kind of a basic app, you can only really tell it to go clean, switch the modes, set schedules and stuff like that. This is not a smart robot, so you cannot map your house or tell it to go clean a specific room. So let me go ahead and show you the mess and the area it's gonna clean. So we're gonna start in this room. A little bit of a mess there. I put down some fruity pebbles. Got a big old bean bag. It's gonna have to maneuver around that. So you can see I put down a little bit more fruity pebbles here. Then we go into this section of hard floor. Put down quite a bit of fruity pebbles. It should be of no issue picking this up. And I'm gonna let this guy run for its entire battery life. And I'll let you know at the end how long it ran for before it went back. As you can see, there's a lot of fruity pebbles on this floor. The reason I use that is because of its bright color, it's easy to see on screen, and it's pretty easy for any robot vacuum to clean up. This also does come with the remote control, which you probably already saw in the unboxing, but I'm just gonna simply push the power button to make things easy. First time running it ever. So let's see how well it does. I'll try to get a little bit of video of it running. It's just random navigation. So it's just gonna completely be bouncing off walls and no rhyme or reason. It just goes around like so you can already see. Now one reason why these are good, if you're doing a small area like this, is it'll go for a good hour to two hours depending on the suction mode and it'll essentially run over the same area multiple times, therefore doing a better job picking up debris. Whereas smart robots, they typically only go over the specific area once, unless you tell it to do like a double clean. So random navigation robots are definitely for smaller houses or like an apartment, or if you want to actually do room by room cleaning. If I didn't have this blocked off, there is no way in the world this would have cleaned my entire floor plan. It just, it just doesn't know where it is. It would get lost and then it would not be able to find its dock. But for small areas, these actually do a great job. This guy, I believe, is currently $219 on Amazon. I'll let you know after this video if I think that's worth the price or if it should be cheaper. 
Looks like it's doing a pretty good job so far, especially on just uh, normal suction. So I'll set the camera up, try to get a little bit of footage for you. I'll speed it up for you guys, and then we'll talk about it after it's done. If you enjoy this video so far at all, please do me a favor, like the video. Consider subscribing, it helps me out a ton. And I will be back when it is finished with all the other information. Everybody, the TCL is done with its first test. It went for right at about an hour and a half, and I realized when I was in the app, it was on quiet mode, so the lowest suction. But it did it does have carpet boost built in, so on the hard floor is low suction. On the carpet, it switched over to carpet boost. So let's take a look at how well it did. If you remember, there is a decent amount of Fruity Pebbles on this carpet. And I actually do not see any at all on this carpet. So great job on the carpet. Moving on to the hard floor. Once again, I'm sure you saw there was quite a bit. And as you can see, there is just literally a couple of specs, which that one I wouldn't be able to get because it's in the corner and that's in the way. And then just two more specs there and that is really it. So these things are the cheapest technology you can get. However, if you're using this in a very small area like this, they do a very, very good job cleaning. I have always been very impressed with these random navigation robots. If you don't care about being able to send it to clean certain areas, or if you do not have a large floor plan, these things work really, really good. Because as you saw, it runs over the same area several times during a cleaning. So I'm actually surprised and, and overly happy with the cleaning job it did for all those fruity pebbles that were down and for it to literally leave just a few of them. I'd say great job, TCL, I'm actually surprised Let's see how much is in the dirt bin. It's a pretty good amount, or it felt like whenever I was dumping it out. Yeah, there you go. And not only that, look at all the carpet fibers and fine dust that this thing sucked up. This actually surprised me. I wasn't sure how good this was going to do. Um, but it's just as good as all the other kind of budget-friendly robot vacuums. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, how well did it do in your opinion. And at the current price of $219, for me, I feel like it's a little bit high. Of course, this is going to go on sale at some point. It might even be right now. I'd say at about $150 or less, it's a great buy. It did a really good job cleaning in here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Once again, if you did, please like the video. Subscribe. Helps me out a lot. And you guys all have a fantastic day. I'll see you on the next one.